hello friends how are you hope uh, you guys are doing well so today's topic is uh, prehistoric rock paintings and modern arts so now we'll start the video stay tuned now uh, first of all we'll talk about prehistoric rock architecture that uh, what are the architectures during our uh, stone age okay old stone age so which is also known as paleolithic age uh, so this prehistoric is also known as paleolithic age and uh, it's also known as uh, uh, old stone age okay uh, so the earliest paintings have been reported from the upper paleolithic times okay the earlier paintings uh, were reported from upper paleolithic times upper paleolithic is uh, uh, paleolithic is also divided into three categories upper paleolithic then middle paleolithic then lower paleolithic so the paintings the earliest paintings are reported from upper paleolithic age okay the first discovery of rock paintings was made in 1867 okay uh, or uh, 1867 to 68 by an archaeologist uh, archibald uh, Carrele. okay archibald Carrele has invented i mean um, found that rock paintings were uh, available in india in 1867 to 68 uh, which was 12 years before of altamira in spain okay the altamira in spain was discovered um, uh, 19 uh, sorry 1880 okay so before 12 years uh, this first paintings in india was also discovered okay uh, then cockburn anderson mitra and goes were the early archaeologist who discovered a large number of sites in India, uh, Indian subcontinent. Okay, remnants of rock paintings found in MP, UP, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Bihar, and Kumau Hills of Uttarakhand. Okay, rock paintings um, remains. Okay, remnants means remain remaining parts. Uh, I mean, whatever the paintings those old stone age people has done, that remains we have found in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh. Karnataka and Bihar and Kumau Hills of Uttarakhand. Okay, now these are the some paintings uh, which you can find. See, these are animal and uh, along with uh, their warriors. Then this is this uh, one kind of animal. Then this is one kind of designing geometrical best. Okay, uh, then uh, this is also a kind of animal. This is also animal. Uh, here it is also hunter with animal. Okay, this is elephant and uh, this is a kind of uh, geometry or uh, i think stick like men's uh, drawings were also available there here it is deer uh, here it is animal okay so these are some paintings we can find in old stone is uh, then uh, we will talk about right now the sites uh, which sites are important uh, when you are talking about old stone age paintings okay so first we will talk about lakudir site the rock shelters on banks of river suyal uh, okay this is uh, at uh, lakudir okay this river suyal at lakudir about 20 km from uh, Almora Bar China Road. Okay, Bar China Road. Bear these prehistoric paintings. Okay, so we can find in Lakhudir wavy line paintings. Okay, then hand link dancing figures. Okay, these are the two paintings basically we can find in Lakhudir. Okay, wavy line paintings is nothing but wave like structures. Okay, uh, then ha hand link dancing figures means we can find dance dancing figures that uh, people are merry making uh, kind of pictures at that point of time that is hand linked okay then lakudia literally means one lakh caps yes you can you can find a lot of caps there okay a long snouted animal for uh, a four and multiple legged lizard are the main animal motifs in lakudia okay and in animal you can find uh, paintings of uh, multiple legged lizard okay and a long snouted animal okay then from kashmir two slabs with engravings have been reported the granite rocks of karnataka and andhra pradesh provided suitable canvases to the neolithic men for his paintings okay the granite rocks you can find in Karnataka and the Andhra Pradesh, which can be suitable for canvas paintings uh, for Neolithic man. Okay, uh, then sites of Bimbetka. Okay, first uh, site we have uh, read that it's Lakudir, and second site is Bimbetka. See, in exam point of view, Bimbetka is quite important, so we have to study it very carefully okay the richest paintings are reported from bindya ranges uh, of Madhya pradesh and uh, their 
Kum, uh, Kaimurian extensions in Uttar Pradesh. Okay, so in their ranges, you can find uh, the richest paintings. Uh, that means the whatever the paintings we have got from uh, Paleolithic age, the most developed paintings we can find in Binda regions as well as in Kaimurian extension in UP. Okay, Binda regions as in Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh. Okay, these hills are uh, fall of Paleolithic and Mesolithic remains. Not uh, not only Paleolithic times, you can find Mesolithic remains also here. The most spectacular rock shelter is located in Binda Hills okay at Bhim Bedka, okay this Bhim Bedka site in Madhya Pradesh discovered by B.S. Wakarkar in 1957-58 to 58. see Lakodir site was invented in 1867-68 to 68, and this one is uh, around uh, 90 years uh, uh, after after 90 years 1957-58 uh, to 58, we have this B.S. Wakarkar has invented this Bhim Bedka site then Bhim Bedka paintings are divided also in three types that is upper Paleolithic sites then Meso Mesolithic then Chalcolithics now we will discuss about this okay so upper Paleolithic uh, in upper Paleolithic you can find uh, huge human animal figures okay animal figures you can find bees on elephants tiger stick like human okay in upper Paleolithic you can find stick like uh, man uh, that means stick like man is uh, one line will indicate their hand one line will indicate their leg one line will indicate their body so that kind of main figure you can find and use animal figures as well as bees and elephants and tigers figures also you can find see green paintings are also uh, indicated as dancers uh, why green paintings because at that point of time we can expect that they know what co uh, color indicate uh, what kind of uh, art okay and hunters uh, hunting paintings are red, red painted and uh, when you are talking about red then red is uh, uh, i mean uh, red paintings were uh, painted through hematite or which is known as Geru in Hindi um, okay then for uh, Chalci Dong uh, green paintings are from Chalci Dong material uh, was used and white paintings are from limestone okay this you need to remember because uh, red paintings for hunting pictures they have used this Geru or hematite and for dancing uh, pictures which is denoted as green painting that is uh, from Chalci Dong okay then Mesolithic large uh, what, um, uh, largest number of paintings group of hunters or ornaments paintings, uh, paintings and hand prints uh, then uh, food uh, prints by fingertips hunting and dancing scenes okay Mesolithic also you can you can find largest number of paintings in Meso Mesolithic time comparing to upper paleolithic or paleolithic time uh, then you can find fingertips wavy like structures and hunting pictures and uh, in while hunting you can you can find humans who are wearing ornaments so that kind of pictures you can find during mesolithic times and painting showing a man being hunted by a beast okay so painting you see whenever you are going for hunting uh, not every time you can hunt a uh, you know animal sometimes what happened that animals can also hunt you okay sikari khud yahan sikar ho gaya kind of thing so uh, whenever uh, uh, this kind of things were happened uh, to remember that thing that uh, one person was uh, hunted by an animal they also used to paint that thing so the famous painting is painting showing a man being hunted by a beast okay uh, then basically primitive paintings these paintings are primitive paintings okay then uh, modern arts we will talking about uh, see modern uh, arts modern age was uh, from bc 325 to 185 okay uh, uh, this is this is the modern period okay this period was modern period and uh, as we know that during modern times buddhism and jainism religion was also developed at that point of time uh, because it was already um, gautam buddhas uh, and uh, mahavir jainas uh, um, birth was already done and uh, they have uh, 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 expanded the religion of uh, jainism and buddhism so modern uh, emperor was uh, uh, created by Chandragupta Maurya. Chandragupta Maurya was uh, uh, guided by Chanakya, the great economist. Okay, uh, you can you can find uh, one book of uh, him, which is known as Arthasatra, and you can find a lot of theories in that uh, what uh, a king should do, how the economy of a country can be developed. That kind of theories you can find in Arthasatra, written by Chanakya. 
or Kautilya, we can say. Uh, then Ch Chandragupta's uh, son was Bindusar, uh, and Bindusar's son was Asok. Okay, so the greatest arts were developed during the time of Asok, Chandragupta, and Bindusar, and rest of the kings of uh, this modern uh, emperor was uh, not. I mean, that famous are uh, during the time uh, modern empire or modern arts were not developed up to that much. Okay, then uh, for Buddhism, Gautam Buddha was a founder, and for Jainism, Akshay and Yakshini. Yes, Jainism. Uh, they are uh, worshipping Aksha and Akshini. Uh, also Buddhism and Hinduism worship. Okay. See, Yaksha and Yakshini was not only worshipped by Jaina, uh, uh, Jainism. They are also worship, worshipped by Buddhism and Hinduism also. Then Asukan pillars, you can talk about the famous Asukan pillars. Okay, Laurya Nandigarh pillar in Champaran, you can find. Then Sarnath pillar. This Sarnath pillar is also known as land capital of India. Then uh, why this uh, Sarnath pillar is so famous? Because uh, the uh, uh, this first uh, sermon of Gautam Buddha was in Sarnath, where he got enlightened. Okay, then uh, this land capital uh, also uh, India's land capital is um, represented by Sarnath pillar. And why uh, these things Asok has done? See, Asok himself was uh, taken Buddhism uh, as a religion after having this. Uh, Kalinga war uh, when uh, he has fought with uh, Kalinga people and after that uh, his mind was changed and uh, he has converted to Buddhism and to uh, make him famous to show his linking with Ma uh, Buddha Gautam Buddha he has uh, created a lot of uh, uh, Buddhism arts and uh, uh, such as this land capital then stupa of Buddha uh, to show his linkedness to um, Buddha and Buddhism uh, so that's why this uh, kind of arts you can find okay uh, then features of pillar what is the main features of this uh, asukan uh, pillars was monolithic see these are the monolithic that means uh, whatever the point is there whatever the uh, rock is there that is that is not uh, jointed that is created from a single rock okay whatever the single rock is there and by doing some uh, working on that rock they have created this uh, you know pillar so the point is here this pillar was uh, these pillars are like 60 feet approximate their heights and uh, you can imagine the weight of it from the height okay uh, this is completely rock and uh, it was it was like uh, quite uh, exciting me or it's it's kind of mystery thing that how these pillars were transferred from one place to another because at that point of time no jcb uh, no truck was available and uh, only i think uh, two uh, places uh, um, of india's two places where these uh, things were benefited and after that they were transported to different different places okay so that's the point that how these things were transported and how um, they were doing transportation at that point of time uh, so that is that is quite mysterious okay then uh, first is uh, soft soft is this part okay soft is uh, uh, this part which is which is not visible here that uh, standing part is known as soft the plain part okay then uh, the capital capital is this part okay uh, this part is known as capital this is kind of inverted pair and this part is known as capital okay uh, then abacus abacus dharma chakra pravartan and different animals okay this is abacus this is dharma chakra pravartan of buddha and these are different animals you can find here okay this part is known as abacus okay then uh, apex animals lion horse bull elephant on four sides okay this is the apex part here you can find lion uh, either lion uh, or horse or elephant or bull okay so four sides you can find four lions or four bulls or four uh, horses or four uh, elephants okay then uh, moreover you can find prayagraj pillars okay Prayagraj is uh, Ilhavad pillars, which is now Prayagraj pillars, and Asok encrypted names on the pillars. Okay, to uh, to to be known, to be uh, known in history, Asok encrypted uh, his name on the pillars. Okay, uh, then um, the material used is red sandstone. Okay, uh, the rock was red sandstone, and from that red sandstone rock only this uh, pillar was created. Uh, then cream colored sandstone is also used uh, in certain pillars uh, red sandstone was used 
and in certain pillars cream color sandstone was also used then size was like i have already told you it's 60 feet approximate manufacturing was in mathura and chunar okay i've told you that only uh, in two places manufacturing was done and from those places transportation uh, was available and this is this is quite mysterious and surprising that how these big shaped pillars were transferred from one place to um, from Mathura, Mathura is uh, uh, to different um, areas of North India. Okay. Uh, then inspired by Iran or Persian pillars, though we don't have any proof, uh, written proof that uh, Asok was inspired by Iran or Persian pillars and these uh, lion capital are uh, inspired by those Persian pillars. But uh, it is being said that these lion pillars are inspired by that, uh, but we don't have any written proof till now. Okay. Then stupa. Stupa is nothing but uh, I would say that uh, 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 Gautam Buddha has told that uh, uh, he has told uh, to his uh, disciples that uh, uh, when he will die, his body should be covered uh, with a round shaped uh, uh, cover and uh, cover and uh, you know surrounding of that cover, uh, people should uh, take rounds and uh, to remember him okay so this is what uh, it is written gautam buddha to recall stupa okay uh, to recall gautam buddha uh, ashok will tell a lot of stupas see stupa name is inspired by pali language uh, okay uh, from thupa thupa okay uh, in pali language it is known as thupa and from thupa it is known as stupa in hindi okay then nine places of stupa uh, there are a total nine places which were inspired uh, Buddha's life and uh, you can find this stupas in all those nine places that is Raja Griha, okay, uh, then Vaisali, okay, then Kapita Vastu, Alakapa, Rama Grama, Beta Pida, and then Pava, then Kusinagar, you might have heard these names uh, related to Gautam Buddha, then Pipalivana, okay, then Asuk built this Sanchi Stupa, which is quite famous because of this uh, world heritage site, okay, uh, then Sana Stupa is also there, okay, Sana Stupa is there, uh, then these three Chhatris or uh, Chhatras are three teachings of Buddha, okay, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangam, like you have. Uh, uh, here, Buddham Saranam Gachami, Dharmam Saranam Gachami, and Sangam Saranam Gachami. Why I am telling you about these three chhatras? Because of this, see, uh, this is known as chhatri. Okay, uh, you can you can you can find three chhatris here. Uh, three chhatris, uh, you know, uh, that three chhatris represents Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Okay, that's why the you can find three chhatris here. Okay, uh, then Yasti. Yasti is this part. Yasti is this part. Okay. Yes, you can find this part and then Harmika. Harmika is this part. This part is known as Harmika. Okay. And then Stupa Dome is this part. This Anda. Anda is known as Stupa Dome. Then Torana is this Medhi. Okay. This is known as Torana. The gates are all this. Uh, this, this is Pradakshina or Torana. You can, you can say and this entry gate is known as Torana. Here it is known as Torana. Okay. So these are various parts like uh, here I have also mentioned Chhatris, uh, Harmika I have told you, Anda this dome part is also told you, Medhi Medhi is the part uh, where, where surrounding of that uh, stupa. Then this, these are Pathas, okay, where you can go. Then projection. This projection of path people uh, um, come and uh, they are taking ground of it. Okay. Then this is known as Vedika. The outer gate is known as Vedika. Then the entrance is known as Turana. Okay. This is this is a uh, typical stupa architecture. Uh, and this is the you know uh, uh, photo of Sanchi stupa architecture of Murat. Okay, then we will talk about cave architecture. Okay, uh, then uh, see, uh, cave architecture was basically developed because of uh, two um, intentions that is, Chaitya for Walsi purpose and for Vihara for staying purpose. Though people were uh, you know, traveling a lot at, at that time, so they need a certain place, Bihara to stay and a place to worship their god which is known as Chaitya. Okay, example says Barbara and Nagarjuna caves in Bihar. Okay, you can find this Barbara and Nagarjuna caves. Okay, in Bihar uh, built during Dasara. Dasara was grandson of Asoka. Okay, decorated antigraves, uh, anti gate of the caves. See, this is Barbara Hill of caves and you can, you can find the gate is quite decorated. Okay, this is K, but the entry gate is quite decorative. 
okay then uh, sculptures we also can find uh, sculptures are stone materials uh, in sculptures only stone materials were used then basically yaksha and yakshinic sculptures you can find for which i have already told you folk worship was there hindu jain and buddha buddhism all worship uh, yaksha and yakshini then uh, you can find one of the uh, poet kalidas megaduttam uh, poem on yaksha and yakshini which is quite famous if you get time then definitely you should read that then silpa dikaram uh, it's also in tamil text uh, and it's on uh, yakshini okay silpa dikaram then didar ganj yakshini jain worship okay uh, this is this is the basic uh, um uh, what do you call this sculpture of didar ganj yakshini jain worship found in patna this is found in patna and glossy polishing shining purpose okay you can we can uh, find glossy polishing on this uh, sculptures and pillars uh, for signing purpose okay this is glossy polishing you see you can see the uh, signing part okay the signing part you can also see so uh, which is known as glossy polishing okay then pottery in pottery you can find northern black polished wave okay in bead pw northern black polished wave okay um, black polished uh, you can find potteries of the uh, modern architecture uh, this is kind of pottery this is also a pottery um, okay this is, uh, this is what this is known as kadai in hindi okay so with this we'll end up uh, the modern architecture along with uh, the prehistoric architecture uh, prehistoric paintings and modern architecture so that's my time guys thank you thank you very much for watching my videos and uh, see you in my next video thank you